<laughs> What's up, world? How you doing? I'm gonna talk about my topic right now. Is okay. I've talked about the black men. I've talked to black 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 women. My last segment, I still stayed on the black woman. I've talked about black America, but where it all starts at, how we can really have a definite effect on how we are looked at by black people, by our own kind, and by the white man, by other races, it's by when you have a child, when we have our babies, when we, you know, when they pop out into the world, at the hospital, you got to take that baby home eventually. And I know you're currently telling that baby in your arm and you, you know, oh, they're so cute and precious and sweet and nice and he is so beautiful and she is so beautiful. And I probably you made so many promises to the child, but to this child, would you would, you know, raise them up right and do right by them and, you know, they, they're going to have everything and they're not going to want for anything or nothing. One of them, the most, okay, they may not want for materialistic things. But do they want for mind, smart, intelligence, wisdom? Do they want for that? You know, a black child is already looked at by society itself. Is oh, this child is three years old. This child is you know one years old. This this is this is a newborn baby, a newborn black baby. One strike against them already. Cause they're black. You know, I you know hope this one on Star No Trouble or have none set against him or her when they grow up. Whatever. I hope you know are they gonna live past seven, twelve, fifteen, eighteen? Will they make it to their fiftieth birthday? No, I'm not bashing. I you know I might get criticized a lot about this about this table. But I'm just, you know, speaking on things that the way society, society, you know, separates us or, you know, categorizes us from another race or whatever. I know that a lot of you out there are, that are, you know, just hell being against me right now because of what I just said. I'm kind of helping over myself because of what I just said, but it's true. You have one strike against you already because you are black. Because I am black, I have one strike against me already. Already. I didn't do nothing to deserve it, but I got one strike against me. No matter how I was raised, no matter, no matter how I was taught, you know, whatever, no matter what I have done or what I didn't do, I already have one strike against me already because of what, what because of because of my skin color. One. So you know, it all starts in the home, whether you be a married man and woman, husband and wife. Whether you be single, a single man, a single woman, raising a child, raising kids, raising babies, raising your sister's child. It's already one strike against you already of how you're going to raise the child, how you're going to bring that child up. What are you going to do to, uh, you know, discipline, to let that child know right from wrong? What are, what kind of examples are you going to set in front of that child's face? Whatever that child sees you do, that child is going to do also. Because they're just going to follow your pattern, follow, follow your lead or whatever. Whatever you do in front of that child's eyes, that child is going to think, that's okay. I'm going to do that too when I get, you know, when I can. They might try to do it now. I have a one-year-old. He tries to do a lot of things that I do, that he sees me do, and I have to stand accountable. I have to, you know, make acceptance for that. I have to, you know, take responsibility for that. Because he sees that. He sees that, hey, ain't your mama did it. I'm going to do it too. I'm going to see if I can get by with you too. 
You know, and then it's just some things that irritate you that he does. And babies are going to do that. But how are you going to discipline them? People now, you know, whether it be a black man or a white man who came up with the, with the, you know, with the, with the law or with the ruling or what they, well, you know, what they say it has, you know, gotten it a, it has become a big, a big question now. Should you or should you not whoop your child, spank your child? I'm going to tap them legs. I'm going to get that hand. I'm going to tell him no and pop him at the same time. Because if he does it once, he's going to do it again. And he's going to do it again. And he's going to do it again. Just to see if you are going to tell him no. What kind of discipline are you going to set for him? Are you going to tap his hand and go, make him stay in the corner? They ain't going to stay in the corner at age one. And they know what no means. If they're steady doing it, and then they know that, you know, they done saw an uh, older child get whooped for the same thing. Their little minds are focused. They're learning at age one, two, and three. You better get them before they get you. So when he acts up, I'm going to spank his hand. And when it comes to learning... A child at age one, two, and three, they can learn. If they're raising up their pimper, if they're raising up their their legs to, you know, help you change their pamper at age one. If they know how to speak and talk and say bye bye and mama and dad dad and point things and if they can vision stuff that you can teach them their ABCs, they one, two, three, they they normals, they colors, they you know, things like that. You can teach them that. Put little pictures, little designs up around the wall. Put the big A and the little A up on the wall and let, let them see. A, big A, little A. I know I'm kind of like, what the, what are you talking about? Uh, that's a baby. A baby is a baby. Yes, exactly. But that baby can also learn. That's a little sponge. That's a little thing you can, you know, put things in or whatever. You can, you know, it's so easy. You can sew things into their minds, into their heads or whatever. It's better than seeing you smoking weed. Are you, you doing something else you ain't got no business doing in front of them? I ain't got no business. I'm grown. I know you grown. I know you grown. 18, 22 years old. 35 years old. I know you grown. But you don't have to be grown and show everything. Show your grown side always to your child. Because your child is looking at that. And they think that because mama doing it, auntie doing it, uncle doing it, grandpa doing it, grandma doing it, my aunt do it, I can get by with it too. Or I'm going to see if I can do try, try and do that too. When they leave, I'm going to go get it too and, you know, see what I can do. I'm going to... Where they gone? Where they got their back turned? I'm gonna go grab that and run to the back because I know I'm not supposed to have it. And then I'm gonna go back there and you know I'm gonna explore or you know find out what's inside this thing. Why they why they acting like that when they you know when they doing this certain thing or whatever? What kind of what what is it in this product? And this item and this material and this thing, what I got, this making them act like that. They're going to pick that up. It all starts in the home. How are you raising your child? How are you disciplining your child? So that when they get older, when they reach the age of 16, 18, 22, they won't be in the clubs with the glass up high and their breasts all hanging out to the side. And they won't be treating a man any kind of way. They won't be treating a woman any kind of way. They won't be selling drugs just to get to buy. They'll, they'll go to school. They'll get an education. They'll get a degree. They'll make something of themselves. It all starts at home from childhood. How are you raising your babies? How are you raising your children? What are you doing to make sure that this world sees a great person?
in your child and your baby when they get older. What are you doing? This is Yolanda. You have comments, questions, you want to talk about it, figure out and discuss about it. Hit me up, watch this is mine at yahoo.com. That's Y S U C C E S S I S M I N E at yahoo.com. Or hit me up on Facebook, get the first name right Y A L O N D A Smith Jackson at Facebook. See y'all later. Have a good one. Thank you for watching my show. Bye.